so hey guys this is franklin in this video we are gonna see about how to create this model in rhino using grasshopper so let's get started first i'm gonna delete this and just open grasshopper I'll double click and type curve and in the in rhino let's create a star for the base I'm gonna use this polygon star zero enter first value will be 50 enter and the second will be 20 enter so this is our base let's move this here okay now just open grasshopper again and right click on this set one curve set this now we have imported this curve into grasshopper let me turn on bifocals okay okay now we have the curve now i want to fillet these corners let me hide this fillet these corners of the star for that i'm gonna use fillet command connect the curve to the radius i mean curve to the curve and for the radius let's give two now you can see we have filleted this corner by the way if you want to hide any command just click on the command and press ctrl q this will hide and unhide the stuffs now let's create a boundary surface connect the curve to the edges and then extrude this connect the surface to the base and for the direction let's type unit z here it is connect the vector to direction and the height will be let's give 400 it's 400 meters tall now we need to twist this for that let's type twist connect the extrusion to the geometry and for the axis we need to create a line inside this geometry let me unhide this everything except this extrusion we need to create a line inside the geometry for that find by first we need to find the center point for that you can use area connect the surface to the geometry then we will get centroid and we need to create a line from this centroid for that we can use line sdl now connect the centroid to the start and for the direction let's go again unit z put it here connect the vector to the direction and for the length let's give the same length of this one now you can see we get the center line okay that's fine and connect the line to the axis here you can see we have a twisted geometry now now let's give an angle I'm gonna give 3 and connect it to the angle by changing this you can control the twist amount and now I just want to make the top of the geometry smaller for that I'm gonna use taper 
paper command let's connect the geometry to geometry and the same line for axis and the start we need to give a start value and end value for the start value i'll give 50 which is the base and the end value will be 20 which is for the top let me hide this now you can see and also hide everything except this you can change the size whatever you want i'm gonna stick to 20 and now we have the base geometry but i want to create some kind of pattern on these these two surfaces for that first we need to separate these two surfaces let's type deconstruct prep connect the geometry to the geometry this will deconstruct all the faces edges and vertices and just type list item connect the faces to the list now we can select individual faces by using a value let's connect the value to index now you can see if we change the number the surfaces will be selected according to the number we gave index we gave it's five is i am gonna separate this one and this one i mean i'm gonna create a pattern on these two surfaces and now let's create a pattern in rhino let's minimize this for now go to the top view let's create a line for 10 meters and 10 meters now let's create a, a diagonal line and create a line again from here here this now we have this line i just want to move a little bit down oh maybe 0 0.5 and now fillet this to one meter radius select this line join move this here now go to the perspective view turn on control points and select this move upward in some distance and now i want to fillet these edges also let's give radius 0.2.5 okay now i think this is fine select all join and make a planar surface planar surface will not work so just use patch patch uv spans just give the value 2 2 2 is fine okay now i get the surface now offset offset surface select the surface outward 0 0.5 is fine okay now i get this one and move this to here and just type rotate click on this copy and rotate this okay i think now we have the pattern which we want let's select this and move it here okay this will be our pattern okay now let's go back uh, to grasshopper now we need to make isotrim on this surface so let's type isotrim connect the item to the surface and for domain let's create a divide domain let's double click divide domain connect the segments 
to the domain and for the uv count i'm gonna give four on the u count and maybe 40 on the v count and just connect the list item to the domain now we have created a boxes i mean trimmed boxes in the surface now what we have to do is let's import that pattern inside the geometry which is this one for that just create a brip select multiple breaths select these four enter now it's inside the grasshopper just graft this before you do anything and then make this as a mesh type mesh prep connect the prep to mesh prep now create type of box morph to apply this geometry into our surface box morph here it is box morph so the geometry will be this one and the reference also this one but the target surface surface is this one before connecting this we need to set a surface box surface box connect the surface to surface because we need to give a thickness on this on the surface and for the domain we can use the same divide domain and then give the thickness i'm gonna give maybe three connect this to height now you can see we have a thickness i'll just connect this twi twisted box into this geometry that's it now you can see we have a pattern on the surface here so i want to have this on this surface also for that what i'm going to do is just make a copy click and drag and press alt you will get a copy what you have to do is just change this value to 7 that's it simple as that now we have the pattern in these two surfaces let's bake everything the one which we wanted this one let me make a group so that you can find it here and this one plus the base geometry yeah this one except this just hide everything okay now let's bake it I click bake a layer is not a problem make a group yes is that done yeah we get it and now this one like same bake change the layer done same as this bake layer one yes now we can close this we get the geometry here just go to the shaded view where is that oh my god let's go back to the grasshopper we don't need to bake this one i mean we have to bake this one i accidentally baked the edges so let's click here on the face let's bake the faces be conscious this when you are trying to bake things now just close this now we get it so here we have our model let's delete all the curves the pattern came very well yeah this is cool and if you want this model without this pattern just go here and just lock this layer select everything make a copy that's it you will get without 
this pattern anyway that's it for this video thanks for watching guys i will see you on another video